it has been postulated that these antenna-clad megastructures and churches were not only buildings but massive devices, currently coined antiquitech. It has also been postulated that we didn't build these structures. We inherited them as recently as 200 years ago. The current working theory is still being formulated, but it goes something like this. There was an ancient civilization that was harvesting free atmospheric energy for electricity, weaponry, and healing using cymatic resonance. It also has possible nutritional and mental health properties, and as far out as using phase cancellation of electromagnetic fields for levitation of large objects. What may be called, for lack of a better word, anti-gravity. These buildings and the technology are not only found in Oslo, they can be found in every city and on every continent worldwide. There are always high antenna on top of these structures, usually having some kind of ball or balls theorized to contain mercury. Mercury just happens to be the Roman name for Hermes, the messenger of the gods. Nothing to see here people, move along. They usually sit upon sacred geometric structure, such as an octagon or hexagonal shaped base, right under the antenna. Sometimes a coiled or cone shaped roof, usually made of copper or gold, are utilized because they are the best known conductors of electricity. It is also speculated that there are coiled wires to collect the atmospheric energy and somehow store it, like a Tesla coil. The buildings themselves are usually banded in stripes in an anode-cathode configuration. The lighter stone or brick has quartz-based conductive properties, whereas the middle band of darker stone does not, just like an ordinary battery. Take a look around your own cities for large buildings that look like they have red and tan striped brickwork and other above-mentioned adornments. I'm sure you'll find many. They also seem to have banded arches and intricate ornamentation, often with scenes of angels and cherubs, which may be metaphors, like Hermes hat, for the unseen world of electromagnetism, a true gift from the gods. Lastly, we cannot ponder the 